division, subtraction method, dividing two digits by one digit. What is it? Distributing a group of things equally. Why? Helps with decimals. Can help in determine how to space furniture in a room. Interesting fact. Cold water heats up faster than hot water. So if you follow these five steps, you will be golden. Step one, write down the multiples. Step two, draw the subtraction line. Step three, find a multiple of the divisor and subtract. Step four, subtract another multiple and keep going until you get to, to zero or a number less than your divisor. Step five, add up the numbers being multiplied by your divisor and put the remainder, if any. So let's follow this example one. What is 96 divided by eight? So first thing we need to write down the multiples of eight, which is your divisor. And now we're gonna go ahead and draw your subtraction lines. And now you pick a multiple that you know and you keep going until you uh, reach zero. Uh, so I think the easiest, the easier one for, for me to pick would be eight times 10, which is 80. And so we know that is eight times 10. Now we subtract and we get 16. Now we're gonna subtract again. And now you pick another multiple of eight. And we, we know 16 is a multiple because it's written down. So we pick 16. And now uh, you do it because it's eight times two. And then now you know you subtract again, you get zero. And we're done with this, uh, with this question. And now we add up the green numbers and we get 10 plus two, which is 12. Uh, so 96 divided by eight is 12. Let's take a look at example number two now. So what is 90 divided by six? Once again, write your multiples of your divisor, which is six in this case. And now we're gonna draw the subtraction lines. And now we're gonna pick uh, any number. Uh, I think you should pick a multiple of 10, which is that's the e that's easier to deal with. And then you do minus 60, because we know six times 10 is 60, which gives me 30. Now we put the subtraction lines down. And if you don't know uh, your multiples of six that well, you can pick one you know. I know 18 is a multiple because it is six times three. And we subtract and we get 12. Oh, 12 is also a multiple. Put the subtraction lines, put 12, and we know that 12 is six times two, and now we subtract and we get zero. So now we add up the green numbers, which is 10 plus three plus two, which is 15. Now, are we gonna go ahead and do it? You might be asking, can you do it a different way? Yes, you can. Okay, so we start off with the same way, 60, and that means that six times 10, we subtract and we get 30. And now we're gonna put the subtraction lines again. And some of you may realize 30 is, is a multiple of six, so we can put 30 down because six times five is 30. We subtract and we get zero, and now we add the green numbers and we get 15 as well. So it doesn't really matter uh, which multiples you choose as long as you uh, keep going until you get to zero. So if you still add up the, num uh, the, the, the numbers, you'll still get the correct answer. So let's go away with examples three. What is 73 divided by five? So we need to write down the multiples of the divisor. And now we put the subtraction lines and now we pick a number. So I'm gonna pick 50 because that's a easier multiple to deal with. So we know that is five times 10. Now we subtract and we get 23. Now we wanna subtract another number, but we wanna subtract a number that is less than 23 and that is closest. And if you look at your multiples of five, the closest one is 20 without going over, and that is five times four. We subtract and we get three. Since three is less than five, we can't go any further. So we're, we're done with this question, and now we have to figure out the answer. So now we add the green numbers, and we get 10 plus four is 14, and we have to put the remainder, which is three, and 14 remainder three is your final answer. Okay, so let's, uh, now it is your turn. So you should pause the video before I show you the answers in three seconds. Uh, so three, two, and one. Here are your answers. If you got them correct, well done. If you didn't, there's always tomorrow.